Welcome back my fellow VAP cappers. We are here again with another accessory for the Hyperdyne. New devices means new accessories. So I love playing with all these new Legos that come out here with the FMJ for the Hyperdyne. And let's get this out of the way just right off the bat because I know there was a lot of controversy with the last FMJ and the evil copper materials it was made out of. This time the Hyperdyne FMJ was only released in stainless steel. As far as for the construction and design of the FMJ, it's pretty similar to its smaller predecessor. Nothing really big changed on the design wise. It's just a bigger collar for a bigger cap. The one big thing that I did notice that got easier with the FMJs and the Hyperdyne actually wasn't a change on Simrel's side, but a change on Dynavap's side, which is inside the cap, they have now put a ledge for the edge of the tip to sit on instead of directly coming into contact with the click discs. So what that allows you to do is to remove the FMJ, you can now just put the tip into the cap and slide down and push on the FMJ real hard. While you could do this with a smaller size FMJ, I never recommended it because you could damage your click discs by pushing the crown of the tip into the sides of the click discs. So now with this FMJ and this cap, no longer an issue, so you can slide your FMJ on and off as much as you please. Now, that being said, are you gonna wanna take this thing off once you put it on? For me personally, nah. Once the FMJ hit the Hyperdyne and I was done spinning, well, if you've watched my channel before, you know that I always hated spinning and don't like doing it. Anything to help me not spin is always a win in my book. The other thing with the FMJ is the Hyperdyne was already difficult to find induction heaters for it to fit in. And even though the FMJ is stainless steel and induction compatible, finding an induction heater that it works with is quite difficult at the moment. It does work with the Vistrato Forge, but I'm not gonna show you that because I have some weirdisms with the Forge. And really, I don't think I'm ready to give settings or any suggestions on the Forge with the Hyperdyne or just the Forge in general. General, but that's a whole different topic for a different time and why you haven't seen a video on it yet. The FMJ has added performance to the Hyperdyne just like it did to the smaller Dynavaps and it really does help. The extra time that it stays hot really helps push through all that extra vapor and I no longer feel like I'm leaving anything behind in the Hyperdyne. Enough talk. Let's go ahead and put it to use, get some flour in here and light it up. Today we're trying out some Rainbow Sherbert number 11 from Connected and Doja Pack, a really good brand to come out of California and super tasty. Really excited to try this out in the Hyperdyne. We're gonna get my trusty Firefox out at a medium flame setting. And the goal is gonna be just like on the old school version to point it at the S and let it rip. Right at the tip of the flame, no spin needed and we're just gonna let this cook. Sometimes I give a little wiggle just to push the process along or if I feel like it's taking too long, I'll put it closer. We got the two clicks. Wow, what a bunch of really good hits. I have noticed with the FMJ though, that you have to be a little careful because if you hit it real hard, you can actually drive it to the point of combustion. Especially for my friends riding the line. And as you see, I can have a sentence or two in between my hits. and still get clouds, which really takes the session vaping of the Hyperdyne up to an absolute killer level. Vapor is still coming out of this thing, crazy. And that looks like the last tail end of it. So while the added heat time and retention can be really good for those long sessions, if you're trying to get a quick bing, boom, ba, in, out, heavy hit, quick, this might not be the setup for you. But if you're trying to have the speed and just do a really quick one little heavy hit, maybe use a regular size Dynavap. But if you're trying to take a couple hits with a friend or you really just want all that extra volume and you have the time to do it, then the Hyperdyne with the FMJ is definitely the move. And you can hear I just had my cool down click. So let's go ahead, take the cap off and show you what the ABV looks like. A nice roast, a good brown color, 
where I like to end up with the Dynavap. Nothing too different from anything else and definitely nothing pyrolyzed. I would say the FMJ, I'm still a fan and stainless steel, can't really complain about the materials. So if you have a Hyperdyne and you like using it, the FMJ only makes it better. So that's it for the FMJ and the Hyperdyne. As always, thanks for watching and stay lifted. Psst, come hang out with us on Discord. <laughs>